we have done the first case of uh, orbital uh, atherectomy procedure on a 79 year old gentleman who has undergone bypass surgery uh, 23 years back. Lima to LED was okay, SVG to OM was uh, patent and he had a very critical, massively, heavily calcified osteum of the right coronary artery. And uh, so we decided to go ahead with this uh, orbital atherectomy that is diamond back 360 degree from cardiovascular system. So the procedure went on very smoothly. We did an intravascular sound, ultrasound guidance uh, uh, orbital atherectomy. The calcium was almost uh, 360 degree plus there was a nodular calcium. So we all know that whenever there is a nodular calcium, uh, the IVL, uh, the lithotripsy doesn't work. So the orbital atherectomy procedure is uh, very smooth. We got a, a very good uh, clock modification of this particular case. Then we, after orbital atherectomy, then we could see nice cracks in the calcium and the lesion was well confined to the osteum of the right coronary artery. Then we post dilated with uh, 3.5 balloon. Then we deployed everluminous saluting 4.5 into 12 uh, stent. And uh, final result was excellent. And procedure was very smooth. I am very much impressed about the way this uh, crown moves across a tight lesion. Initially, even 1.5 millimeter balloon was not uh, going across the osteum of the RCA, so it was super tight. Uh, even in this uh, particular uh, heavily calcified tight lesion, this uh, crown movement is very smooth and it's a great uh, uh, addition uh, to the debulking armamentarium.